I feel that in terms of our economic challenges, they're continue to exacerbate for many Americans. And as that trend continues, it's going to be harder for us to defend um, our interests in the global mm -hmm. arena. So um, I would say for the voters, if, as far as foreign policy in, in pocketbook issues, always look to the budget, mm -hmm. right? If you look at the budget, you will see that that is a starting point where you can um, run, you can initiate the debate uh, try to build a consensus on how to address these issues. For instance, going back to the new NDAA, we spent up to $717 billion towards defense. Meanwhile, we've cut away a lot of money from our social programs. So the voter has to understand, okay, you have, you, you have this administration that wants to benefit you in terms of, okay, in terms of emotional um, approach or the rhetoric, we're here to help you. We are here to, the American First, Doctrine is all about helping the uh, American uh, worker or whatever at first, right? But if you look at the budget, it doesn't necessarily reflect that. So um, yeah. I know we're kind of like in a race with China as far as defense expenditures, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not really necessarily too much against about increasing defense expenditures, you know, of course, the military. Yeah. But at the end mm -hmm. of the day, we have to be more effective when it comes to our money and um, in our global leadership because the more we pour into that, and that trend continues to exacerbate in terms of economic uh, failure from the, uh, within internally, it's going to turn into a big mess as far, especially it's going to be very challenging to balance the two. So internally, we have to address those economic issues. Now, going back to a report uh, from the Rand Corporation, there was an interesting uh, publication that was released several months ago about the new generation in terms of being disconnected with national security mm -hmm. uh, and more more concerned about retirement, um, addressing the student loan issue, right, which continues to bubble. If that continues to increase over time, how can they be more into uh, addressing, um, you know, issues a abroad, you know? So it, it, there definitely needs to be some sort of uh, policy decisions that effectively address these economic issues because the people itself are going to be less and less uh, more and more, excuse me, disconnected with foreign policy, national security, especially uh, with our global leadership in, in the Irish community. Mm -hmm. uh, and Asha, your point about the budget reminds me of that Colin Powell quip, which is, uh, <laughs> uh, show me your budget and I'll tell you what your strategy is. Yes. <laughs>